Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Sea of Thieves on the GeForce GTX 750 Ti for performance monitoring this time I won't be using Cam since this is a universal Windows application and Cam is not currently working with that so in the meantime I'll be using MSI Afterburner So Sea of Thieves, I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p to skip down at those sections of the video, check the description below So first of all I'll show you 1080p with the Overclock GTX 750 Ti and I'll show you a 30 frames per second configuration or close to that that means that my priority will be quality over performance and then after that I just lower the settings to the minimum to see what frame rate we get on 900p and 720p the overclock is disabled so we have stock frequencies there and I did the same thing I show you a 30-ish FPS configuration and then I just lower the settings to see what frame rate we get and so far 720p was the only way to be rather close to 60fps not hitting that target consistently but so far it's a way smoother experience than 1080p obviously. Still, I would recommend to overclock the GTX 750Ti and play at 720p if you want to just get the best frame rates. And you'll see that the movement of my character will be a little sluggish, sometimes I might teleport a little bit. That's due to high ping. I have like 250 milliseconds of ping or higher. Not sure why the game is connecting me to servers that far away, but now I'm going to talk to you about the options menu and my experience testing this game. So while this game was made using Unreal Engine 4, so I was expecting the usual options in the options menu, and we do, but there are some stuff bundled in together. So we don't have low, medium, high, very high and ultra, we have different things. We have cursed, common, rare, legendary and mythical, which you'll see listed in the bottom left corner of the video each time I'm at the options menu, so you know what each of the options means. All the options have an impact in performance, but so far the biggest impacts in performance were shadow detail, lighting detail and water detail, and the game does a good job explaining pretty much what those options do, except in lighting. Apart from controlling lighting like the game says, it seems to also control ambient occlusion. Below the common option on lighting, you don't have ambient occlusion at all, apparently. And you can also turn off shadows if you select the lowest setting for that option which is always good if you have a lower end computer. Model detail also made an impact in performance, but it wasn't as big as the other options. And the word detail, I didn't see a huge difference by lowering it from ultra to rare, but it seems to have just more reflections and just more geometry overall. I have to say the water in this game looks fantastic, one of the best water I saw in a game so far. And in the video options, you also have B-Sync option, frame rate lock option, which allows you to lock it even at 15 frames per second. You also have an in-game FPS counter, and you can also see your ping, since this game is always online. And under resolution options, you have some already set resolutions like 540p, then 720p, 900p, 1080p, 1200p, and if you have a 1440p or 4K monitor, for example, you have to select the option called native, which means that the game will run at the native resolution that you selected on Windows. So for example, if you want to play at a different resolution, for example, I don't know, 1366 by 768, you just select native and the game should use that resolution instead of 720, 1080, 900p, all that kind of stuff. So the game should be able to support arbitrary resolutions. And another thing that I really liked about this options menu is that when you change something the game doesn't need to restart or anything like that it just changes everything in real time even the textures which is awesome you can see what impact it has on your vram usage so you can see which option you have to use so far four gigabytes of vram seem to be enough for the maximum texture quality but i recommend experimenting with that since you can have more consistency with a lower texture quality option the game says that it requires a faster hard drive to avoid popping with the highest texture quality since this game is always online it's meant to be played with other people and exploring and adventures and all that kind of stuff i'm just unable to do exactly that since i have to repeat the same stuff to do the benchmarks and well due to the nature of the game I just went sailing solo and went into the same island each time. This is one of the islands that gave me the biggest impact in performance, it doesn't mean that it's the worst but it's one of the worst I found so far which is called Pirate's Haven. You can find it on the map on your ship very easy to find, pretty much at the south of the map. And while this island has a lot of geometry, a lot of foliage, trees, some animals, some skeletons to fight every now and then, all that kind of stuff. So I just waited for the sun to come up and started just exploring the place since sometimes when you look very far into the distance, for example you're at the tallest place in the island and looking down in a place where there's a lot of detail, you might see some GPU usage drops despite the CPU not being at 100% on any of the cores. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I was unable to fix it even with faster CPUs. 
so it seems to just be a thing with the game. Nothing major, if you ask me. It happens very few times in islands that have a lot of terrain, plus a lot of detail in the distance. When you're just sailing on the ship, it's fine. But you can also see a performance impact when you're just, for example, fighting another ship with three or more players involved. That can be a performance impact as well, but unfortunately, since I cannot repeat that many times, I cannot really add it to the benchmarks due to the nature of this game, as I said a second ago. So this is not everything that you can do in the game, which is just running around in an island, but this is a benchmark video so I'm trying to just show you performance on a place where I had the lowest frame rates which is this island and I also notice very uneven frame times it seems that it's because I'm very far away from the server I'm around 150 to 250 milliseconds of ping which I'm unable to fix it seems that the servers are just far away from me so the variable frame times are a random occurrence Sometimes they happen, sometimes they don't. So also keep that in mind depending on where you live. I live in South America, so if you live in North America, for example, or Europe, it should be fine. So yeah, overall you can play this game just fine. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.